Hello there and welcome back to another live. Thank you for tuning in again on this beautiful Wednesday afternoon. A little bit hot, but it's still a gorgeous, gorgeous day. So um, the topic for today is how to make lifestyle changes to make room for more, for more freedom and joy in your life. I'm sure that a lot of you, because um, I used to look for this everywhere and never used to find it for a long, long time, are trying to find some more freedom, a couple more hours, some more joy, some room to breathe. So um, this is the topic for today and we're going to talk about keeping your lifestyle simple. Now, when you're managing your time and when you're trying to maximize, simplicity is key. So um, wherever you can, keeping things simple is important. Now, of course, I'm a little bit biased because Mostly, I'm going to be talking about simplifying your food journey. So that means um, we're simplifying meal planning, um, we're simplifying batch cooking and freezing and serving those dishes up real quick. Um, we're not cooking every day and we're just not going to think about that draining thought over and over every single day. Oh my goodness, what's for dinner? That phrase is going to go, okay? So, um... If you haven't downloaded my freebie, I've got a fantastic resource. It's called the Mama Manual 100 Simple Recipes. So if you'd like to meal plan really, really quickly and you haven't got your, got your hands on it yet, I want you to go to themamamanual.com slash 100 recipes. Now, if you're anything like me, you'll forget afterwards. So just log on right now and get, and get that um, resource downloaded because I promise you are going to love it. So, um, lifestyle changes. You might ask, okay, we're trying to um, simplify, we're trying to make room for freedom and joy. So, um, why are we talking about food exactly? So, I'll tell you exactly why. So, um, back um, when I was um, very disorganized, I had no clue how to manage my time, I was rushing all over the place, chasing my own tail, um, I decided to make a change because I accidentally stumbled across um, batch cooking first and I thought that it was making quite the impact in my life. So um, although there are a lot of things that can and will make an impact and will free up your time, personally, I felt that my food journey was the thing that gave me the most breathing space. Because try and think about your days. Think about the, am the amount of time that you spend stressing about what's for dinner, um, rushing about the supermarkets more than once a week, maybe daily, maybe you're stopping daily with the kids um, and they're tired after school and they don't feel like being in the supermarket, but you need to go because you've just thought about um, what you're going to cook when you're in the car. Um, think about the days when um, your husband, your partner, or maybe you just live with your kids or with your mom, but it's dinner time. And um, food is something that looks so far away. So dinner time is supposed to be at six, for example, but you've only just um, started to grill the chicken. And you're stressed out because you know that the kids, um, uh, the kids' bedtime is going to be a much later one. And you don't really like that because they start getting out of hand. They start getting tired and they need their rest and you need yours as well. And think about all the times that you've had all these bad experiences instead of having a pleasant one um, with your family, because um, really it should be simpler. And dinner times should be um, times which we enjoy spending with the family because it is the only guaranteed time of day. And not always as well, because I know that we're very busy and sometimes we just have to go through our days and maybe the hubby's home late, it happens as well. But um, I think it's the time of day that we can really count on during the week when the whole family is together. So it's such a pity that um, all these um, bad experiences and struggles turn this experience into a negative one. Also, when I started um, learning these processes, I found out that out of all the things that I had mastered and decluttering and simplifying my calendar, um, um, everything, this thing was the thing that gave me the most time. So this is why I have decided to come on over here and talk about um, my food journey and some tips which you can pick up because if someone back 10, 12 years ago had taken my hand and told me, do this, I'll help you, I would have been so grateful. So I'm here for you 
and we're going to talk about um, this topic. So um, before I kick this off, I'd like to say hello to some um, ladies who are popping up. So hi Amanda, hi Stephanie, hi Audrey, hi Ruth, hi Christina, hi Nadia and Daniela, hi Leanne, hi Annabelle, Alexia, Colette, wow. And hi to Elizabeth as well. So if you've just joined us, the topic for today is how to make lifestyle changes to make room for more freedom and more joy in your life. And in case you don't know who I am, my name is Nakita. I run the Mama Manuel blog and social media pages, and I also have my own book. And my mission is, in life is to help busy moms just like you to uh, manage their time better so that they can live the life that they truly want to live and love. So um, we're talking about simplifying. And most of all, um, I am biased because this is the topic that I love the most. We're going to be talking about meals, and food. So um, I know that this is a hot topic because I do get quite a bit of questions about it. And I want to ask you, do you feel overwhelmed or overworked right now? I'd like to get some answers in the comments so we can have a two-way conversation. So just let me know if you feel overwhelmed or overworked right now. Now, of course, it might be, I, we all have days when we're overworked and overwhelmed, but if it's something that's chronic, we need to do something about it, right? Now, if you're not feeling overwhelmed or overworked, that's great. I'm so happy for you. But if you are, maybe you can tell me why you're feeling overwhelmed and overworked. And maybe you can sum it up in three words or so. So we can just make it quick. So I can speak about myself. Overall, I'm not overwhelmed or overworked, but right now at this instant, so um, it's not something chronic, but right now, I am really busy working on something, so I might be a little bit overworked. But then, of course, I try to make it up with some good breaks during the weekend, maybe, or a day here and there, or even, uh, even an hour or so. I try and take my me time. So let me know. Do you feel overwhelmed or overworked? And if you know why, I'd love to get a reply as well. So, um, the bulk of the time that, I've saved, that I save every day... And over the years, I've learned to save a lot of time, massive amounts of time. You would be surprised if you've been following me for a long time. If you've read my book, you know exactly how. Um, so the bulk of the time that I save is by simplifying and um, organizing my food journey. Um, and um, this has been fantastic because... I don't feel like I'm pulled in a million directions all the time, which is something that I used to feel every single day. Um, I don't get overly hungry as well, because um, before I had the system all as doubt, and I eat a lot as well, so I'm snacking all the time, I want food all the time, I'm that type of girl. So um, I used to tend to get really hungry. And um, what happens when you're very hungry and you've got nothing planned to eat? You end up eating rubbish. Now, of course, we all indulge in the odd sweet or packet of crisps or whatever your secret indulgence is. Um, but when you do it regularly, because you, you haven't got anything else prepared to eat or your fridge isn't snacked, isn't, sorry, isn't stocked with, with snacks or with, with stuff where you can just put something together quickly, we end up um, resorting to these things which um, fill us up or, for a little bit. And then we feel hungry again and we feel guilty because we're eating rubbish. So um, this food journey has helped me um, keep my fridge stocked as well with food um, that keeps me nourished. I feel better as well. And it's not just me. It's the family because, of course, having better food around and having better snacks is great for everyone. Um, I have more energy as well because when you're eating well and when you're eating on a regular basis... Um, you're more energetic and besides feeling energetic because I'm eating well I feel more energetic because my mind isn't I'm not feeling drained because I have to make all these last minute decisions about dinner because I've decided I want to cook something and I don't have the ingredients in my cupboard so I have to rush out so I already feel ah, lighter like I can breathe um, I'm less stressed as well this has had a big impact on my stress too and there's less mess as well in the kitchen. Because if I'm batch cooking, I'm not cooking all the time. And I'm batching all my cooking. So um, it's a quick cooking session. Get all that cooking out of the way. And just clean it up. Instead of trying to cook 
when my kids are around hanging onto my legs or leg because of course my eldest <laughs> isn't going to be hanging on my legs anytime soon he's 13 um, but you get the gist um, kids need you after all and they're stopping you every two minutes for something and um, they need you physically they need you emotionally they need a glass of water they need this they need that they need help with their homework and what should take you 20 minutes or 30 minutes to cook will take you an hour and a half and God knows the mess you leave behind. So my kitchen is um, cleaner as well as a, re as a result of this. Now, once your food and your meals are sorted, you start to live a different kind of life. Um, it is definitely calmer and you don't have um, that black cloud hanging over your head stressing about um, what you're going to have for dinner. That is a big game changer and um, I want to offer it to you by at least having you start thinking about what your life could be like if you could do all these things that I am mentioning here today. Now, when I really needed this, I didn't know that this even existed. Yes, I mean, I've seen my grandma and my mom um, freeze the extra pie or lasagna from time to time. But um, I wasn't really aware of the perks and the benefits and the whole system as well, because it's not just the batch cooking. It's the system that um, you should follow in sequence and that brings everything together in harmony. That really makes all the difference. So um, you'll have, uh, there are a lot of perks, of course. I mean, who would be doing this if there weren't any perks? Um, you can be uh, more intentional when you're planning and when you're batch cooking and when you're freezing and when you are really um, simplifying your food journey because um, once you've got the cooking out of the way because you're batching, you can then be more intentional about the time that you have um, kind of because you, you're going to end up with more time on your hands. Trust me, you are. Um, and you can be intentional about how you spend it. So once you've got your cooking done and your kids are home after school, you can decide to just not think about anything and sit down for half an hour or an hour and just play with them. And you can be there, not just physically, because I know that most of us, or all, we all try to do this, most of us manage, but how many of us are there mentally? I know we're there physically and we do our utmost, to do our best, and what we do is for, is for, for our kids, after all, and for our families. So um, I'm not trying to um, kind of... I'm talking about all of us. I'm in, in the same boat here. I mean, life happens. But um, besides just being there physically, it's important to be there mentally. And when you've got this food thing sorted, you are there physically and mentally. And that makes a lot of difference. Um, you are going to enjoy eating your meals more because they're taking less time to prep. You're less rushed. Dinner time becomes fun again. You can sit down, enjoy your meal, chat about your day without having your mind rushing and thinking about how you're going to manage all your to-dos after dinner, because um, dinner is taken care of, and um, you'll have more time to use as you please as well. So um, you might decide to um, take the kids out a bit more, you might decide to um, have a little bit more me time, you might decide to meet a friend for a coffee, you might um, go on play dates, you might spend more quality time with your husband or partner, you might decide to just be. You might decide to go to bed an hour early and just read or just meditate or relax or whatever. But um, you'll get access to that time. And I'm not just um, telling you like I'm, I'm preaching because I do know the difference from my past to my present. You will start eating healthier as well because once you make a meal plan, you can really look at what you're eating. So you can um, look at your plan Sometimes I just put something together really quickly and then I look at my meal plan and I'm like, oh my goodness, where are the veggies? It's like, I, would, I need to put more veggies into my diet. So I go a step back and um, cross out something or delete it. I do everything digitally and I add in something which is um, full of veggies and greens so we can all eat um, healthier. Um, you will be a terrific example to your kids because um, this is a skill that can get passed to your kids. Now, if this was something that I had been born into, I would be just doing this with my eyes closed. I mean, by now, yes, I've learned to, but I struggled until I got here. 
So um, we would be setting an example for, um, to our kids, not just for them to manage their time better, but um, for them to have um, full control of um, the life that they're living and the choices that they make. And um, just even to help them kind of, um, to help them not overstress about it. Because an actual fact, it's, it, yes, food is nourishing, but it's only a small part of what's important in life. We've got to leave some time to enjoy life. It's precious. So once our kids see us simplify food, yet enjoy it, yet eat, eat healthily, yet ha still have time to spend with the family, yet still have me time, put ourselves first, that, that's a great example. So it's something which we should um, think about as well. Less stress, this is a biggie. Um, how many of you feel that this thing really stresses you out? Do you get stressed because you don't know what to cook? Or do you get stressed because you hate cooking every day? I used to love cooking about 10 years ago, 12 years ago, anyway. Before I started getting stressed out about the food, I used to enjoy cooking. And I used to kind of, um, I remember, look up recipes which I liked and just cook, you know, take my time and eat slowly and just enjoy the whole process. But then when I became really busy, and um, after I had Yannick and I had to kind of keep up, you know, when you have a kid, life gets busier. And of course, when I had my second child, cooking starts to become a chore. So it's not half as fun anymore. But when I started batching, when I started batching my cooking, I started to find the joy in cooking again because I could focus. I could find 30 to 45 minutes in the evening when my kids were asleep and I could just cook. I know that I've got this time. I'm going to get three meals out of the way, cool them down put them in the fridge, freeze, and bam, that's three dinners. So I started to find, um, I started to put the fun back into cooking. So um, any of you feel like this stresses you out as well? Because we do so much cooking, it's like we're chefs. I mean, well, we do a lot of things, we're not just chefs, but the cooking surely takes up a lot of time. So once it's sorted, there's less stress. Um, I already mentioned the less mess I've gone into this because um, batch cooking um, definitely is less messy than cooking every day. And if you've got a dishwasher, do use it because I know people who've got one and barely use it. Um, my dishwasher runs at least once a day. It's a godsend because, you know, we just wipe your plates, pop them into the dishwasher. And especially when I'm batch cooking, you know, all those bowls and pans and pots and it's never ending. So I would definitely um, waste such a lot more time cooking if I had to um, clean without the dishwasher as well. I'm going to just say hello again because I see some comments. Um, and let me just go up. Okay, I can see that I asked about them um, who's feeling overwhelmed and overwhelmed. And we have some replies as well. And um, Amanda says, I started a lot of projects but do not have time enough to complete. So Amanda, keep following. I know that you uh, follow me quite closely as well because once you get the hang of this, I promise you'll have more time to finish your projects. And what I usually recommend when it comes to projects, any type of project, be it a personal project, a work project, anything at all, try and focus on one at a time because um, trying to focus on many projects can be overwhelming. And even to switch from one project to the other, um, once you go from one project to the next, you've already forgotten where you've arrived, so you need to kind of recap and start again, and it will take longer. So pick one, pick the most important, and try and work on it. And um, Marcella says, some projects that I promised myself to do during summer, but still not ready from most of them. So Marcella, I can say the same for you as well. Um, and don't be hard on yourself. Maybe you're asking too much of yourself as well. So maybe um, you've looked at summertime and it, it looks, you can, I mean, it's three months at least. So you're like, oh, three months, I'll get plenty done. But you've already got a lot going on. So don't cram in too much. Don't expect too much of yourself. Um, rather than that, just pick one or two most, the, the most um, important ones or the ones which you'd like to get done first. And if you do them and that's a win, you can just move on to the next, but no biggie. Because otherwise what will happen is you'll pick a lot of projects. You start a lot of them, you won't finish them, and you will just feel like a failure, which is a pity. Because um, I'd rather do just one, just do it well and feel like I've won, rather than start a lot of them, 
think that I should have finished 10, of course, it was impossible and feel like I failed. So that's the advice I have for you. So hello to Chantel and Claire and Anne-Marie and Tony and Claudia. And Juanita says, me. I used to love cooking too, but now I'm like a mad woman trying to put a decent meal on the table. I'm trying to get better. Trying. It's not easy. I know. It's not easy. And even when you've mastered it, there will be the bad days as well. So whenever you have a bad day, remember there's always tomorrow. So we need to get up and try again. And Annalisa, and Annalisa says, I guess that your kids sleep early. Mine sleeps at 10 p.m. Well, my, my eldest one, of course, he's 13, so he doesn't sleep um, too early. But um, my youngest, yes, her bedtime is, um, it used to be seven, now it's around 7.30 because she's getting older, she's four and a half. And she's been like that since she was a baby. So we used to start her bedtime routine early um, for the reason that um, I prefer it when she sleeps early. First of all, she gets very tired. And um, secondly, I don't really do much when she's awake. So I try to leave everything for after, like when she's asleep because it's much faster. And of course, um, I need my me time, my hubby and I need our time as well. So we've always, yes, we've always tried to um, put our kids to bed at a decent time. They're, they need the rest as well. My kids get very cranky when they're not well rested. So, I mean, it works. <laughs> uh, hello to my uh, tongue twister. Hello, Marie Louise. Um, hello, Daniela. And Daniela says, I find meal planning really helpful. And it took away all the stress of cooking in my life. And that is fantastic. It's just the thing that I love to hear, Daniela. So high five to you. And um, Christina says, yes, my mind is definitely more at rest when the cooking is done for the day. Oh, definitely. And Claudia says, hello. And we've got Maria and Ilaria. So let's go back to some more perks. Um, when you're meat planning and when you're batch cooking, you're saving money as well. Now, this is because if you're batching meals, if you've planned and you go to the supermarket, um, you've got a solid plan in place. So it's not like you're going to the supermarket and you're trying to think up several meals. You know how it goes. You walk into the supermarket, you're not quite sure what you're cooking, so you just need to fill your trolley. So you start going around the aisles. Oh, this pasta sauce looks nice. And ooh, this is on offer. And these biscuits and these crackers and these. So when you're planning, you know exactly what you need and you're saving money because you're not buying too much of the extra stuff. And of course, um, usually I end up buying as well less items on a whim. Um, I, I, I'm, kind, I'm very intentional with what I put into my shopping cart, so that helps as well. Another thing which you're saving, your sanity. That is the biggest thing that you save when you simplify your food journey and when you find the system that works for you and your family and it can just practically go um, on automatic. Now, when you are doing this, um, when this comes really easily and when you're um, batch cooking and when you're freezing your food and when you open the fridge and you've got food over there, you can prioritize something else because now that your mind has been freed, now that you have the focus, you can prioritize other things in your life. So, um, for example, right now I am prioritizing work because I've got something coming up. I'm going to mention it briefly. I'm almost ready to launch this. Um, and uh, just before the last week, because I've just started working hard on it um, these couple of days, um, I was prioritizing enjoying summer. So um, I was working, yes, I mean, I was working my 30 to 35 hour week, but my priorities were enjoying summer because it's going by so fast and the kids are growing. And um, the fact that I had my meals sorted allowed me to um, make use of my time elsewhere. So um, once you've got the hang of this and you're winning, you can prioritize um, other things. I know um, quite a few moms that um, are studying, for example, so this gives you more space to have more study time in the evening. Um, I know moms who would love to join a gym. And I know moms who would love to um, join an exercise class or go running every day. So um, making these adjustments will give you the space to do just that. And you can breathe. Believe me when I say that you can breathe. Um, uh, the impact, I promise you, is huge. So um, 
when you are um, a pro, because if you, if you keep following me and if you go through this journey with me, you will become a pro at this. You can move on to strategizing other areas as well, because um, yes, this is the way that you will um, get more access to more time to use as you please. But of course, there are other ways. For example, there's decluttering which you might want to dive into really deeply after you've got this done. That will save you a lot more time. Um, and there are other little projects and little areas and tips and storage solutions which will help you to um, simplify your lifestyle and will let you live a more intentional um, life. So um, what I want to tell you is that if you'd love to learn with me, if you'd love to learn about um, batch cooking, and believe me, there's, a, there's more to learn. Um, I, I do teach quite a bit um, on my blog posts and here on my lives, but there's more. There's more um, that needs more time and more attention and more detail and more handholding. So if you'd love to learn more, and if you want to go through this transformation with me, I'm going to be organizing something in about two to three weeks. And this is going to be on for a very limited time. So if you want to be part of it, I need you to send me a private message or even leave a comment with your email address. And I will send you an invite as soon as I have more information. So um, remember, it's, um, it's for a limited time only. So if you miss it, I'm afraid um, you'll have to wait a couple more months until maybe I will organize it again. But if you're interested, just send me your email address and I will make sure that you get first dibs on this. And so that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this live. I look forward to seeing you again next week, same time, same place. In the meantime, you take care. Bye for now.